Hey guys, what's up? Diggin' Dave. I have two boxes of pennies, both Loomis penny boxes. This box here has two enders. We have a reverse wheat penny ender and a 1940-something right here. So two enders in this box. We're going to do this box second. Box number one is circulated, but I did not see any wheat penny enders. I'll bring you guys in when I find something cool in box one. Let's get digging. Well, I just laid out roll number one. One of the edges looked a little silvery, but I thought it was just damage or something. But no, we're going to have a steel scent. I don't find these a lot. Somehow this slipped through the magnet on the coin wrapping machine. 1943. Just got a steel penny. How much do they weigh? I know they weigh a little different than a copper. 2.69 grams pretty cool though it's really not worth anything if it was a 43 copper it'd have a little value but uh that's cool i don't find a lot of steel wheat pennies 1943 that's pretty cool let's keep on digging roll number three guys it's not in the best condition but look at this 60 denver clearly an rpm look at that it's going to be the rpm number one on variety vista look it matches up Look right there, and then look at the one on my uh, coin microscope. Like I said, let me grab it. It's pretty circulated, not in the best condition, but that is a uh, very clear RPM number one. I'll keep it. It's definitely worth more than a penny. Let's keep on digging. Only on roll number six of box one, and we're going to have wheat penny number two. 1946 Philly, so we got a 1943 steel cent, and now a 46. And we got that 60 Denver RPM. It is a FS502, I forgot. Uh, on Friday of this, that's the FS502. Wish it was in better condition. I have one that I found coin roll hunting that's graded by PCGS. That's a MS62 red. This one I'm not going to grade. It's not worth uh, sending in to get graded, but I'll hold on to it. It's a nice RPM. Let's keep on digging. I've gone through a few more rolls. I'm on roll 15, just giving you guys a, an update for box one. In the last few rolls, I've gotten three more wheat pennies. A 56 Denver. We also are going to have a 1952 Philly. That's wheat penny number four. And Wheat Penny number 5 for box 1 is a 53 Denver. 15 rolls in and we have 5 Wheat Pennies and that 60 Denver RPM. One of the Wheat Pennies is that Steel Penny, Steel Scent. I rarely find these, like I said. That's pretty cool. Um, I used to have a magnet, but I lost it. So if I had a magnet, I'd show you guys it sticks to a magnet. But uh, I don't know where my magnet went. Somehow I lost it. Let's keep on digging. I just opened roll 17 and I see something that looks a little strange. I'm assuming it's some sort of foreign coin. Kind of cool looking. Five Groski, Grozy, something. Is it Polish? I think it's Polish, Pol Polska, 2008. It's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever found this coin before. 2008, obviously not silver. Not gold, anything cool. <laughs> but a foreign coin. That's kind of cool. Let's keep on digging. Roll 24, and we're going to have two more wheat pennies for box one. A 1942, it's going to be wheat penny number six. And number seven, a 46 Philly. Let's keep on digging. On roll 33, we're going to have two more wheat pennies. 56 Denver, it's wheat penny number eight. And Wheat Penny number 9 for box 1, 53 Denver. Hopefully we get some oldies. Let's keep on digging. On roll number 40, we're going to have Wheat Penny number 10 for box 1. 1937, at least we got one in the 30s. Number 10 for box 1, 10 rolls left. The last 10 rolls... Gave me one more wheat penny, so we're going to end with 11 wheat pennies. That's about my average, a 1941. Um, so we did get the 1943 Steely. And did we get any oldies? I don't think we got any old wheat pennies, really. All 40s and 50s. Oh, we did get a 37, I forgot. 
Got the Canadians, uh, Polish, Polish coin, but we did get a 60 Denver RPM, which is nice. Let me go ahead and put this uh, cup of copper or bowl of copper, whatever you want to call it, on the scale quick, and we'll see how much copper, how many pounds we got in box number one. I'm going to guess three pounds, 12 ounces. We actually got more copper than I thought. Three pounds, 15 ounces, almost four pounds of copper pennies in box one. So good amount of copper. Copper is now uh, around three. Each penny is worth about three cents in copper. So definitely holding on to copper pennies. Let's move on to box number two. Roll number two of box two. Remember, we have two wheat penny enders here in box two. I'll let you guys know when I get to those enders. Uh, but roll number two is going to give me uh, two wheat pennies. Start off box two, a 53 out of Denver, and wheat penny number two for box two, a 1950, Philadelphia, I'll take them, let's keep on digging. Roll number 10 of box two, we're going to have wheat penny number three, another 53 Denver, alrighty. Roll 16 of box two. We're going to have an older Canadian, 1943. This is going to be King George VI. I always like finding these. 1943, right in the middle of World War II. That's a nice find right there. And Wheat Penny number four. Another 53 Denver. It's a very common year. Hopefully we can find some older Wheat Pennies. Maybe an Indian Head Penny if we're lucky. Let's keep on digging. Uh, the very next roll, roll 17, was the obverse-facing Wheat Penny Ender. I knew it was a 1940-something, but it was kind of cut off. It's a 1945, though. It's going to be Wheat Penny number 5. There was nothing else in that uh, Ender roll with it, so let's keep on digging. I've gone through a few more rolls. I'm on roll 26 now. I didn't find all these finds in one roll, but I'm just updating you guys. I did get a Canadian bird scent. These are kind of cool. What is it, uh... 1867 to 1967, so that's going to be copper. I'll hold on to that. I also got uh, four more wheat pennies. A 58 Denver, I believe. Number six for box two. Wheat penny number seven, a 56 Denver. So far, we've just found common wheat pennies, but that's okay. 46 Philly, that's number eight. And wheat penny number nine for box two. A 56 Philly. Hopefully we can find something a little more exciting. Let's keep on digging. Roll 34 of box two. We're going to have two more Wheaties. A 53 Denver. That's Wheat Penny number 10 for box two. Wheat Penny number 11. Another 53 Denver. Man, a lot of 53 Denvers. Let's keep on digging. I'm on roll 45. A little update. I found four more wheat pennies for box two. Uh, 53 Denver. Man, I'm getting tired of finding 53 Denvers. <laughs> 1945. Uh, what is this? 48 Denver. I'm just glad it's not a 53 Denver. And I think this is going to be wheat penny number 15. 51 Denver. So we have 15 wheat pennies, but unfortunately they're all 40s and 50s, nothing. We haven't found any old wheat pennies in this box yet. We have five rolls left for box two. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, I just did the last five rolls in box two, and we got one more wheat penny, a 53 Philly. At least it's not 53 Denver. <laughs> no old wheat pennies in box two, but we did get, um what, 16 wheat pennies, so that's pretty good. Um, we got... A bird sent in 1977. We did get one older Canadian, 1943. And guys, I'm going to take you guys over to my scale. This um, plastic bowl, it feels heavier and looks uh, it looks more full than normal. So I'm thinking we easily got over four pounds of copper. Let's go over to my scale quick and see. All right, guys, here's my scale. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, wow. Four pounds, five ounces. I think this is the most copper I've ever got from a penny box. This plastic container here weighs exactly one ounce. I weighed it on this scale before with nothing in it. So we got four pounds, four ounces. We have to take one ounce away for this plastic container. Four pounds, four ounces of copper. 
Wow, that's a lot of copper. All right, everyone, so for this two-box penny hunt, we got a good amount of wheat pennies. Unfortunately, none of them were really old. I think the oldest was a 1937 in box one. So nothing really special on the wheat pennies. Um, no double dies or errors. We did get a nice RPM, though. RPM FS502, uh, 60 Denver. That's probably the best find. I really wish, wish we could have found a close or wide AM or a double die, but... Couple Canadians, the oldest uh, Canadian was in 1943. We got the five Groski or something like that, 2008 from I think it's Polish or from Poland. But guys, we got a good amount of copper. Box one, 11 wheat pennies, three pounds, 15 ounces of copper. Box two, 16 wheat pennies, but we got four pounds, four ounces of copper, so 27 wheat pennies total. 8.2 pounds of copper. That is really good. So two boxes of pennies, over eight pounds of copper. We didn't find anything crazy, but we got a lot of copper pennies, which is awesome. Some wheat pennies, you know, mostly 40s and 50s like normal. But hope you guys enjoyed this two-box penny hunt. Make sure and like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And until next time, keep on digging.